Buccaneers game. Um, what, what was kind of your assessment of, of where you guys were at offensively? Um, and, and I mean, was there maybe some stuff that you guys could have hit it on that, that just didn't didn't hit for whatever reason in that game? Uh, we just, I think, overall, we just got to start faster. Um, I think we played with good energy, you know, as the game got going. But just just starting, you know, um, first game, you know, working out some kinks, but. Just start faster. Um, <clears throat> try to be more detailed in, in the things that we're trying to get get going. So we got to win, but uh, you know it was a lot we had to clean up. So we got that done. This question from Fletcher Mackle. Oh, and maybe we don't know if Michael's going to play or not. But just playing without him, it, the, the, the the impact he is on the offense. You all did it last year without Drew. You did it last year without you. Just maybe the potential that Michael may not be there and the roles that other guys will have to accept. Uh, you know, every 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 week, um, we're only on week one, but every week, you know, guys are guys are ready to play. You know, I'm fortunate with with Mike. Um, you know, we all know the status, but um, <clears throat> you know, it's it's a next man up mentality. Guys in practice, they're working hard. Um, you know, everybody takes a pride in knowing what to do. You know, in case somebody goes down. Drew went down last year. I went down. Um, it is what it is. You know, you got to keep keep moving. Next question from Nick Underhill. Alvin, just being around Deontay Harris and seeing what he can do, his unique skill set, they had him out there in the Wildcat with you. Just like, what are some of the things that, that you've seen from him that he can bring to this offense with the creativity and the play calling and all that? Oh, uh, man, he just, he, he wanted them dudes, he wanted to get the ball in his hands. A uh, special, fast player, um, getting getting smarter as he as he as as he's in this league longer. Um, you know, I think it's just he, he's explosive. So, you know, just finding ways to get him the ball, finding ways to get him more um, involved, I think will uh, be good for him, good for our offense. Next question is from Amy Just. Yeah, Alvin, uh, y'all got uh, Dwayne back at practice today. How big is that for your room and for special teams to, to finally get him back at practice? Man, it's good. You know, that's my, that's my dog. So definitely missed him. He had to deal with, you know, the, the protocol and, and stuff like that. But he's back. He looked good. You know, um, just de- walk, knocking some rust off a little bit. Big for special teams. You know, he, he contributes there. I mean, just, just as much as anybody. Um, and then in our room, you know, it's just – you know, when one of your guys is gone, it's 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 kind of like, you know, you look back and you're looking at his seat like, dang man, I want Dwayne here. So it's good to have him back. You know, hopefully get get um, everything cleaned up this week and be able to go out there on on Sun on Monday and and do what he got to do. Next question is from uh, Omar Ruiz. Hi Alvin, thanks for taking the time, man. Uh, just curious, you know, it's the first game in Las Vegas on Monday. You know, prime time setting. Uh, kind of a historic event. Just wondering if that has any meaning for you or you guys as as the visiting team there. Uh, I don't, I don't really. It's a Monday night game, I guess. You know, it's a new stadium, but I mean, I play in New Orleans, so I don't really care about that. We got an opponent to prepare for. I'm not really worried about the scenery or the or the or the venue. Well, thank you. Next question from Amos Morrell. Yeah, Alvin, uh, we've talked a lot about the, the COVID protocols throughout the year. But as a guy, as a player, you guys have routines going on the road with the new protocols. Does that cross your mind at all, or is that something you're even worried about? Uh, I mean, you know, everybody has their routines. You know, we go on the road. Some guys like to go get dinner. Some guys meet with their, their families. You know, people come to the hotel, things like that. You know, with the world we're living in, with the climate we're in, I mean, it's just something that we, we can't do right now. So. You know, it's an adjustment for everybody, coaches and everybody. So uh, we just got to be disciplined in, in what the protocol asks. And I think we're doing a good job as a team of doing that. You know, it's a, a lot of veteran guys. And we, we got one goal in mind. So, you know, to protect that goal, we got to do what we got to do. I mean, follow, following the protocol. Next question from John DeShazer. Alvin, we always hear about how much of a three-phase game it is. And you've been around this team long enough to have seen Special teams play really well in a lot of games. How much of a pick me up is it when you see those guys do what they do? And I guess especially when they're able to do it in a game like Sunday when it became so critical. Man, I mean, special teams is, I think, just probably like the most important part of the game. You know, those guys bring a lot of energy. Um, it's it's easy to fall asleep on 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 you know that that team. You know, I think with other teams, but. Our guys take pride in it, you know. They they treat it like like it's an offensive play, a defensive play. You know, it's 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 another play to help this team, you know, reach his goal. So 
you know, I think we, we feed off that. You know, I'm, I'm locked in the special teams like, like I'm out there. You know, um, it's just it's, it's good to see them playing well and, you know, having fun out there. Here's a question from Luke Johnson. Oh, and just without, like, the fans in there, it, it, does that enable you all to kind of take advantage of some stuff that maybe you wouldn't otherwise do, like with the hard counts and stuff? I saw you kind of wilding out after Drew uh, Drew got that uh, that fourth down call. Oh yeah, I mean it was just it was just in the midst of the game, just hype because we I think we walk in the huddle in a situation like that, and we I was hyped because I knew we was gonna get him to jump, you know, and it happened. So I'm like, yeah, but I think it's just weird because you can hear everything, like you can hear everything. So it might it might affect the defense a little bit more because they're so ready and they're they're locked in because they feel like they can hear everything, and you know, once Drew gets that hard count, they're ready to go. But um. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. Does, does that does that make it tougher though for y'all not to jump on the, on the hard count? You know, and be more disciplined on y'all's end. I don't think so because we know what we know what's coming. We know that she, we break the huddle and we like don't move. You know, I think it's more for, more so for the defense because they're anticipating. So right when they they feel like they can hear it so well that they like, oh, let's go, and you know they they flopped out. Next question from Nick Underhill. I might be reaching here, but with some of the stuff you did this offseason to, to remake your build now, it looked like you were really fast out there. Do you, do you feel like you got any faster coming into this season? Yeah, I feel like I did. You know, I think, like I said, Sunday, I, th- I felt I felt like it was a little slow, I mean, offensively for me. But, you know, you just got to stay locked in, on the, in, in the game and, and, and keep moving, you know, do whatever we got to do to win. I feel fast, so I feel good. You know, I, same thing this offseason, working with um, my trainers and working with Sharif, work with Swayze and just – Trying to trying to keep crafting and keep finding ways to get better, um, and you know it's it's paid off you know every year and especially this year with coming off an injury, um, I feel back to normal. I forgot what it felt like to play you know healthy, so definitely excited about that moving forward. Next question from Brett Martell. Hey Alvin, any um, thoughts or surprise on seeing Drew's passing yardage um, relatively low in that game and. Uh, if, if in addition to that, there's a couple of guys out that normally are on the receiver core, what do you view as um, the team's ability to adapt to that, considering people like you and, and Jared are also out there catching balls? I think I, I'm not I'm not worried about Drew's passing yards. Uh, like I, like we've been saying, I think a couple of people said it after the game, including Sean, including myself. I think we just had a slow offensive day, you know, just kind of working some of the kinks out, you know, getting getting. Relocked in on the details. It's game one, so you know it's, those are when you know some of those mistakes happen. And uh, luckily, we were well, not luckily, but thankfully, we were able to win. But we got it cleaned up, and you know these these guys stepping up. You know, obviously, um, we got new guys, we got young guys, we got guys that are yeah, like I said, new guys. Um, they're locked in. They know what's going on. They know what they have to do. Um, they're focused. We're focused on details. A lot of details this week. Um, and they'll be ready to do what they got to do, step up and, and, you know, assist Drew. And I'm not, I'm not worried about his passing yards. He's going to be able to do what he has to do. Okay. I think we're all set. Thanks, AK. Cool.